Hello world, I'm Connor from Beyond, using the Intel Arc A380 in order to play Minecraft Bedrock RTX. I'm on the Color, Light, and Shadow world, which is available for free on the Marketplace. Uh, and I'm also running with some mild overclocking to see if there's a major in performance improvement. Uh, I do normally play on 4K, however, uh, as with the last video, I actually had to lower it to 1080p in order for the it to basically run it all. Last time I described it as a very pretty slideshow. Uh, it was actually a little bit better this time. It, uh, instead of being frames, instead of being seconds per frame, it was roughly equal. <laughs> um, so it was just like this or something stupid. So to get it to run, it still needed uh, to reduce the resolution, but it is working now. I'm also recording in AV1 and all that stuff, so. There's that. Although I have noticed a few uh, quirks. First of all, let's actually see if I can recreate it. I paused and it was coming up with light issues. Of course, it doesn't doesn't now make me look like an idiot. Uh, also, my arm in the last one I didn't mention, but uh, my arm's freaky. Uh, also, the other thing. Uh, if I go into third person look at the water specifically where it says like minecraft in reflection and if i move the camera there's actually a blurring effect as to where my body once was i assume that this is uh, a side effect of it trying to conserve resources it's not rendering the ray tracing behind me or it is but at a reduced uh, resolution but then when i move it it hasn't rendered that and so it's like oh crap gotta render this uh so there's a little bit a delay i guess and it's so it's just it's fuzzy for a second and then it clears up but i mean otherwise you can see i mean it's beautiful and oh this is glass this isn't water <laughs> that's I, all this time i was avoiding walking on that um what's oh we can go underwater speaking of which apparently um yeah there's a whole world here that i really have not explored at all and oh, i got a little cram that's that's adorable. <laughs> but otherwise, I've also got the kind of settings and like performance information. I am in creative. I can fly. Okay. Uh, I've got that on the top right. You can see uh, the telemetry data. And so how much you want to bet one of these does something? I'm not going to test it on screen because that's going to take a while. But like, that'd be a funny little Easter egg. Uh, Anyway, so you can see it's running pretty well. We are using it like 80% memory. Uh, GPU. Um, GPU clocks. Good temperatures at 60 Celsius, which is a little hot, but we're fine. Um, what else? VRAM. Uh, fan speed. Render activity is at like 90%. But overall, we're fine. Uh, also, I actually have it in my notes. I want to mention that whilst you're using this uh, graphics card, uh, my legs aren't moving. Why aren't my legs moving? <laughs> I'm floating. Am I, am I still in fly mode? No? Okay, that's weird. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, you want to put this in the... Uh, top slot of your motherboard the graphics card if you have multiple because the hi higher one tends to too close tends to be a uh, higher quality or newer generation um it makes it the older ones may only support uh, pci express 3 uh, whereas the a380 does support uh, pci express 4 and so if you can get the higher express that's tends to be better new gen stuff tends to be better um, newer AM4 or M5 mama boards should support the PCI Express and hopefully give better results. Maybe you will be able to run on 4K or, hey, maybe your legs will move. Um, but that is about all I have for today. I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, a reminder, I'm on the Color, Light, and Shadow, which is available for free on the Minecraft Marketplace. So as long as you meet the system requirements, you too can explore this world and you can all the note blocks and see if there's an Easter egg. But uh, that is all. Bye.